Okay, these are our extractors. They're both hooked in the screw pump. Um, they're hooked together. If one overflows, it'll go into the other. The reason we have two is so we can clean one while the sap's going in the other. We can go back and forth. We can split our flows. Um, works very nice. Right now we've got, I think, about 10,000 taps coming into this one and 8,000 coming into here. And uh, they pump simultaneously. And if we need to clean during the day, we can clean the pumps, which we'll get, especially at the beginning and the end of the year, they can get clogged up and uh, you don't want that. So we can clean while it's warm in the middle of the day instead of cold in the night. We can clean at our terms. Um, it's a little bit confusing because I have a lot of lines coming in here, but if we're careful and we have a checklist, we don't miss much. We've only done it once and that was the last one of the year. So it um, works pretty well. And you can see the screw pump um, needs a little lower. I think these gauges are a little off. We're running 27 inches of vacuum here, and my pump is running at about 50% capacity. So I could easily dial up the vacuum a little more. Um, but I don't think there's any need to. The deep well pumps are three-phase motors on variable frequency drive, so they soft start. Uh, and it works very well. Uh, these. There's no threaded connections, they're all uniseals, that's the style that MES does. I think this is um, one of the first ones that we did this way, and, and MES, Clayton Christie, is making them much nicer than this, because these were ones that I kind of did, and I'm not perfect, not like those guys are, they make really nice releases. So. It's a good system, um, and there are very few problems with it, it seems to run and run. Yeah, how's that?